Five times I received 40 lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods, once battered with stones. Three times I was shipwrecked, and one time I spent a night and day in the open sea. I've been bitten by a serpent. I'm constantly on the move. I've been in danger from rivers, in danger from bandits, in danger from my fellow Jews, in danger from Gentiles, and in danger from false believers in the church. I've labored and toiled and have gone without sleep, known hunger and thirst, and often gone without food. And in the midst of all those experiences, served the Lord by leading in his church, burdened with concern for God's people. In my younger years, I was elite in my own right, a Hebrew of Hebrews, a man's man, zealous for the law, persecutor of the church, destined for greatness, ascending the ladder in my field, admired by many and respected by all. My life was on track. My plans were firm. Then I took a road less traveled, the road that made less sense, but I found it to be the better way. Whatever I built my life on, I now consider loss. It was all loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Him. For His sake, I've lost all things. I consider them garbage that I might gain Him. How does one move around so much? How does one endure so much? How does one face such adversity? When you lack food, money, health, friends, what keeps you going? How do you thrive? How do you preach the gospel in nearly 50 cities, starting churches in many, in the face of such uncertainty and difficulty? How do I make it in the midst of pain, struggle, abandonment, rejection, disappointment, hard work, and uncertainty? I'm rooted, rooted in God's love.